For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnaseed.com and www.mathswithnaseedblogspot.com. Thank you. Chapter 8 Similar Triangles Exercise 8.3 Second Problem In triangle ABC, XY is parallel to AC. XY divides triangle ABC into two equal parts of area. Find the ratio of AX and XB. According to the given problem, triangle ABC, XY is parallel to AC. So, XY divides ABC into two equal parts area. So, here we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle BXY. In these two triangles, angle B is common and angle A is equal to angle X. Because XY is parallel to AC, then angle A is corresponding to angle X. These are equal. And similarly, angle C is equal to angle Y because these two also corresponding angles. By angle, angle, angle symmetry, we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle BXY. When triangles are similar, we can also write the ratio of the area of the similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the square of their corresponding side. So here, area of triangle ABC by area of triangle BXY is equal to written as AB square by BX square. From the given data, we can write area of triangle ABC is equal to 2 times of area of triangle BXY because XY divides triangle ABC into 2 equal areas part. So then we replace area of triangle ABC as 2 times of area of triangle BXY. Here we cancel area of triangle BXY, area of triangle BXY. In LHS we can write 2 by 1. In RHS, AB is written as AX plus BX. Then we replace AB with AX plus BX. Then we can write in RHS AX plus BX whole square by BX whole square. Now we can write it as AX plus BX by BX whole square. Now we separate the denominator as AX by BX plus BX by BX. Here we cancel BX, BX. After cancelling BX, BX we can write 1. So 2 by 1 is written as 2 in LHS and RHS is written as AX by BX plus 1 whole square. Now we transpose square from RHS to LHS then it will become 1 by 2 for the 2 in LHS. 2 power 1 by 2 is also written as root 2. Then we can write root 2 is equal to x by bx plus 1. Now we transpose 1 from RHS to LHS. Then we can write root 2 minus 1 is equal to x by bx. We require the ratio of ax and bx. Then we can write it as root 2 minus 1 as root 2 minus 1 by 1. Therefore, ax by bx is equal to root 2 minus 1 by 1. This is the required ratio. Please like, share, subscribe our channel for latest updates by pressing the bell icon. For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnaseed.com and www.mathswithnaseedblogspot.com. Thank you.